How's it going guys? So iOS 26 is officially released and in this video I'm going to go ahead and share with you some of the most unrated features that everybody is overlooking. So I'm talking about like hidden features, hidden settings that's disabled by default, which is why you should immediately enable it so you can get the most value out of your device. So timestamps of course will be in the video description down below. For your pleasure, let's begin. So one of the new features that was integrated but it's disabled by default can be located in the settings. You see by going in settings and you scroll down into battery, in the battery section, it will not only show you a briefer breakdown of everything that's consuming more power than normal, but we do receive one new feature in the battery setting and that is, and that is adapted power mode. So by scrolling all the way down to the very bottom, if you tap power mode right here, this is where you can now enable the new adaptive power mode. And you can enable it so it sends you a notification whenever adaptive power is enabled, which you can see it right there. And this will typically will pop up when your iPhone detects it's draining its battery a lot faster than it should. By having this enabled, it will adjust the background apps so it doesn't take up that much resources, delivering a longer lasting battery life under that single charge. Now the next new feature can be located actually in the wallet app. You see by launching the wallet app right here and you break down your credit cards, every single one of these credit cards that you have, you can store the physical card information on them instead of using like photos or right now the number in your notes app. So for instance, I'm gonna save this credit card information on my Apple Watch wallet app and I'll have it organized to the card that's selected. So by selecting the credit card, It'll take you to this page. Just tap on the card number right here. It will scan Face ID to give you this section of the credit card. But right here, you'll have your last four on your Apple Pay. So if you do like a return, you could verify right here that was that card. But right here is where you'll see a new setting which will allow you to actually add this physical card information onto your Apple Wallet card. And by selecting this, it'll bring you to this page and you can just basically line up the cards with the numbers in the back here, of course. This way, if you need to reference that card to complete like an online transaction, you can always refer to this page and look for your credit card information and then tap done. So now it will be permanently saved and all organized with your Apple Wallet app. So that is definitely a nice little tool right there. Another new change can be located when you enter wiggle mode. If you tap edit on your screen and you go into customize, take advantage of the new clear icon. The liquid glass is literally a theme for iOS 26 and you do have this new clear tent ability where all the icons will be cleared. It's like this also in your Apple CarPlay settings too. If you like to have clear icons, you totally can. And yes, they do correlate with dark or light mode. You could also select auto. Now the phone app also receive a couple amazing new features. One of them is screen calling as well as hold assist. And to locate these new settings and make sure you have it enabled, you see if you go into the main section right here, and just scroll down to the phone section, select all apps and then scroll down to phone, or you could just type in phone and click on it right here. And just scroll all the way down till you find hold assist detection, enable this. And the way this works, the, your phone will automatically detect when you're placed on hold. So you can step away from your phone and then you'll be notified when it's time to pick up. It'll also send a notification on your wrist as well if you have an Apple Watch. I've used it quite a few times. This thing is absolutely amazing. Another thing to also double check is enable the correct setting you want for the screen unknown caller. You see, whenever an incoming call will come in, a screening screen will pop up, questioning the caller what they're calling for. Here you can allow it to ask for calling. So by having this check mark, calls from unsaved numbers will be asked more information before the phone rings. This way, if I'm receiving like a spam caller or something like that, they're more likely to actually hang up. And then while they are calling, if they do respond, I can see the conversation on my lock screen. And then I can make the decision if I like to pick up or not. Very useful, highly recommend. Compatible with iPhones with Apple Intelligence. And real quick, if you've been enjoying these features I've been showing you so far, if you could kindly take two seconds to hit that like button and like, those truly do help out the channel. It allows the channel to be continue to be powered by you guys, the viewers, which is why you don't see integrated brands for sponsorship segments taking like a minute or two off your time. So massive thank you to those that continue powering the channel by just simply hitting that like. Let's resume. Now, a new default feature that's found in Safari is enabled by default, and that is anti-tracking measures. This is pretty awesome because now this makes it difficult for marketers or advertisers to actually track basically the many different web pages you're browsing. This is enabled by default and there's no need to change anything. However, I did find that in Safari, if you like to step things up a notch, if I go ahead and activate all my windows, you see on the very top right here, I actually have a custom profile. Right now, this is my personal use. And if I go to my work use, it'll separate the cookies from one profile to the other, making it even more difficult to be tracked. 
So if you like to enable this feature or have this ability to switch between other profiles so cookies don't get like tied to the wrong account, simply just go into your iPhone settings. In the All Apps section, just type in Safari. Select Safari. And from here, scroll down until you find Profiles. By default, you'll have a personal one. But down here, you can add some more. So right now, I have a secondary one, which is work. You can make more and just change the icon to your personal preference and literally just create it, name it whatever, I'm just going to GG for some reason. And just like that, if we activate this page and we switch between profiles, you could just quickly create many different profiles and the icons in the background of the wallpaper you selected. So for that extra measure of security with less targeted ads, that's one way to do it. And I kind of like it. It's a lot better than creating like custom tabs right here in the bottom. Now in iOS 26, we did get a handful of new ringtones. You see by going into the settings app and then go into sound and haptics right in here. If we scroll down to the ringtone, in the ringtone selection, you will notice we got a lot of custom ones that we never had before. You see the standard default one, the most iconic one is probably this one. But there's now different variants of them available. Which is kind of cool. But if you like to make your own custom ringtone, you can now do that. You can either use voice memos or you could download MP3 files and then just simply just locate the MP3 file. So with voice memos, just select the voice memo, tap the three dots, select share, and then select more. And you'll see use as ringtone option. Then if you download an MP3 file, you could just go into the file app and then just go ahead and locate it in your files. Hit the share, select more. If the audio file is shorter than 30 seconds, you'll see the option right here. Ours isn't. So it has a audio cap of 30 seconds. But that's how easy it is to create custom ringtones now on your iPhone. Additionally, there's a new settings in the camera app, which will indicate and warn you ahead of time if the camera lens are dirty before taking a shot and regretting. It's like, dang it, maybe I should have wiped the lens. There's a notification that could pop up automatically to remind you. So by going in settings and going to the camera, and if you scroll down, you'll see a new setting down here where it says Lens Cleaning Hint. Make sure this is enabled. So next time when you launch the camera app and you have to take a photo, if your lens are dirty, your phone won't actually pop up a notification on top of here telling you clean up the lens before taking a shot for the best results and then you can capture a shot. This way you don't have to go back and regret certain decisions. And then finally, if you use the uh, alarm a lot for all your timer, by launching the clock app, and if you select the alarm, on the very bottom here, you can now change the duration on how long you want the snooze duration to last, 15 minutes to the max. So after 15 minutes, if you constantly just hit snooze and snooze and snooze, it's going to stop ringing. So this definitely is a much needed feature that we've been long awaiting for. But other than that, there you guys have it. Those are our 10 of my favorite settings and new changes you definitely need to adjust, especially if you just got done installing iOS 26. So you can use this to its full potential. Let me know in the comment section which one of these features was your personal favorite. And if you have something you'd like to suggest for everybody else, feel free to comment down below for the rest of us. Well, you should watch more. Maybe you'd like to see what's new on the Apple CarPlay side of things. I cover that all in greater detail in this video over there. Thank you so much for watching.